Adwa TV, bringing good things to life. Back again tonight. My name is Nafa Likwaku. Thanks so much for joining us tonight on Regulators. And of course, we come your way every other Monday between the hours of 7, 10, or 10 minutes past 7 to 10 minutes past 8 p.m. Today on Regulators, or tonight on Regulators, we are going to discuss blood donation exercises and blood in general. We have a person or a rep from the National Blood Service Ghana. He's in the person of Mr. Stephen Adaiba. He's a PRO for the service. He's going to walk us through a lot of things. One will be the general concerns or the myth surrounding blood donation exercises. People are scared to donate. When they donate, they have people telling them all sorts of things. We would also discuss commercial donors, those who would get people to donate for them and in turn take monies from them. What the law states concerning that would also speak on um, voluntary donors so far they have been good they have served the country well and um, we'll talk about the types of blood that we have those that are in need of a certain type we'll also talk about the blood groups that's the o positive the o negative and all that we'll talk about all these things and so stick and stay with us as we go for this quick break when we come back we'll continue shortly Welcome aboard the safest airline in Africa. With industry leading safety measures to protect your well being. The first in Africa to earn a diamond standard of safety. Offering a more contactless, safe, and seamless experience. Delivered with a smile by Africa's first fully vaccinated crew. Creating special memories that bring the joy back to flying so you can continue making memories with your loved ones. Book your flight with Randair today. Randair, the safest airline in Africa. Randair, fly the dream of Africa.
so much for staying with us. Welcome back. My name is Nafa Likwako, and this is Regulators. I've been joined by Mr. Steven Adaiba. He's a PRO for the National Blood Service, Ghana. Hello, sir. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay. So, I mean, you've, you've donated blood before. How many times? I've donated about seven times. Wow. Yeah. In, in the last, how many years? Um, it's supposed to be four. Four uh, times. Four, yeah. Yeah. For okay. no, no, three times in a year okay. because uh, four four months interval. Intervals, okay. Yes, so, but it hasn't been regular because of okay. uh, you know sometimes your your BP may okay. be high because of uh, you know tiredness and all that. So when when you are at that stage, mm -hmm. you are advised to stay away. So, right. but so long as we are healthy, we will continue to donate. Continue donating. Mm -hmm. but what's the myth surrounding it? People are a bit skeptical about it when it comes to blood donation, especially when they hear or they see the vans around telling us to either donate voluntarily, go to any nearest clinic and then get yourself screened and if possible, donate. People are scared of it. What, what would you say to us to take that fear out of us and then try to donate more? Well, thank you very much. Um, I think in our society or in our culture, when you mention blood, it's something that you know people uh, are not interested they don't want to hear so mm -hmm. um it's something that yet we we, we live with yeah. but then ideally blood donation is supposed to be an exciting exercise because it is an exercise to save a life mm -hmm. so the joy that you have you know after donating blood that alone should encourage you more to always be donating blood but unfortunately that is not the case mm -hmm. And so, yes, like you mentioned, people have certain perception about uh, what blood donation is all about. Mm -hmm. People believe that, especially the men, they think that sometimes after donating blood, you'll be weak mm -hmm. sexually. Um, others also believe that blood is used for rituals and all that. Um, others, because of religious you beliefs. Know, beliefs and all that, they don't want to donate blood. But the simple thing that we tell people is that, look, Blood is a drug. Mm -hmm. The way people depend on paracetamol or tesonate or any other thing for malaria or any other uh, diseases, mm -hmm. people's lives also depend mm -hmm. on blood transfusion. And because blood cannot be manufactured, mm -hmm. it takes you and I to make the conscious effort that we to will donate it. blood to save lives. And so people shouldn't have any fear at all about blood donation. It's just a simple exercise. We take a unit of blood from you, just 10 to 15 minutes, you are done with the donation, and you are good to go. Mm. You, you come back and tell us the difference between a pint of blood and then a unit of blood. But before that, your mandate and your vision is to give us safe blood at timely, um, um, it should get to us, our patients, on a timely basis and all that. Exactly. Have you been able to achieve that over the years? Ah. Uh, it's it's been difficult. Okay. It's been difficult, um, basically because you know it's it's a voluntary exercise. Yeah. And so it takes a lot of work, mm -hmm. education, to make sure that people understand why they should donate blood. Okay. Yes. So we have been doing our best, but I must say that uh, our best hasn't it's been good enough. enough. Yeah. That is why we continue to appeal to the general public that any time the call comes that there is blood donation exercise. We shouldn't wait. That is the opportunity for us to also contribute to the health need of the country. And so, because it's a voluntary exercise, only few volunteers mm -hmm. come out to donate blood. Okay. The rest, people know that yes, blood must be available mm -hmm. for transfusion, but then how do we get the blood? They, they want to wait. That is the attitude we have. We want to wait till there's emergency before they are called upon, someone. yes, which is a very bad practice. Okay. And uh, I believe that with time, as we continue to educate the public, people mm -hmm. will come to understand the reason why the voluntary exercise it's, it's is much school. better. Interesting. Now, uh, currently, um, the National Blood Service, we have all the types of blood available, as of tonight. Um, as of tonight, I, I, I can't say that we do. Okay. Yes, but... What we normally do is that every day mm -hmm. we go out with a target. 
Okay. Making sure that we go to the schools, we go to churches, we go to corporate organizations. Um, like I said, it's a voluntary exercise. So probably um, you may go with a target of maybe 100 or so, mm -hmm. but you may end up, you know, coming, coming back two with... two or three. Yes. Okay. Which is, which is not too good. Mm -hmm. So out of that, you may not be able to get all the types that, that you mm -hmm. want. Uh -huh. But so, how many types do we have? A lot. Uh, I think we have uh, yeah, a lot, okay. but I, the popular ones that we know, mm -hmm. the O, positive, the negatives, the A, and then okay. the, yes. The A, B, and all the that. The A, B, and all that. Mm -hmm. we, we've been told that not everyone's um, blood is, is, is okay for the next patient. So can you walk us through the different blood that we have, especially when it comes to the, the O positive, the A, the A, B, because from, from what I, I have seen so far, it says that we have about 21% of the B positive and then 2% of the B negative. But the B can all, only give to the A and B. What was uh, the that, reason? That, that is a bit technical. Okay. It's a bit technical. And uh, honestly, I may not be able to uh, well, give much okay. yeah, details on that. But I think that there's a reason For that. why, yes, because... Um, because all the types are not the same. Mm -hmm. When you are not careful and then you give one blood to a different group that mm -hmm. is not supposed to take so that, take you that. complicate the whole, process. the whole process. Wow. That is why it's advisable that doctors would have to make sure that the blood type that the, pa the patient needs is what exactly that, that is it's given. So before transfusion is done, mm -hmm. a blood sample is taken to make sure yeah. that we do the cross-matching mm -hmm. and get the, the exact type that the patient needs before transfusion is done. So, so what if the patient is already in the hospital and um, there's a call for blood? So the doctors or whoever is on duty tells you the type that the person needs? No. Okay. The doctors take the sample of the patient okay. and then uh, send it to the lab. Okay. So then the cross-match is done. It's done there. On the, yeah, no matter what the case. It has to be done. Mm. Yes. Okay. So why do why do we have these questions on the on the quiz on the paper for us to fill before donating blood? Example is um, if you've had a surgery in the last six months, if you've had any needle piercing, any tattoos and all that. Why all these questions? Well, it's very important because as a blood service, one of our core uh, mandates mm -hmm. is um, professionalism. Yeah. And um, also making sure that uh, we accurately protect the, the donor, mm -hmm. uh, you know, data-wise and all that. And so we give these questionnaires to donors to make sure that they give us accurate information on them. Because there are certain conditions okay. when you are in, you are not supposed to donate blood. Such as? You know yourself. Mm -hmm. So you are in a better position to tell yeah. us what conditions you have mm -hmm. so that it will not complicate issues yes. for us. Okay. Uh -huh. And also, we are very much concerned about the, the, the health of the donor as well okay. as the health of the patient. So if you, the donor, you are not very fit, you are not healthy to donate blood, why should we allow you to donate blood? Is it because we need blood? No. Okay. We, we are concerned about your, your health as well. Because after donating blood, you're supposed to go out there with joy and then have more refreshing life than even uh, how you came. And okay. so it is very, very important for us to know much about you so that we'll be able to serve you better. Mm. Yes. But what should be your blood level? The blood Both level... Both male and female? Yes. The female is supposed to be... Uh, 13, is it 12.5 mm -hmm. and above, and then the male, um, 13.5. So if... Why, why the difference? Uh, well, is it because women would always have their monthly flows and stuff? It's, it's, so, so we are it, bound it's, to... It's possible, okay. yes. It's possible, there's a reason. And so when you drop okay. from that level, you're not allowed to, to donate. It's Even if it is 12? That, yes, it's assumed that um, you don't have enough. enough. Okay. Yes. Because what we take out is the excess blood in you. Which is the five? Um, yes. 
okay. even that five after that you know you you replenish it mm -hmm. within you know 24 hours too okay uh -huh, but we have to make sure that yeah, okay. uh, you have enough to give mm -hmm. yes so that because some come they walk a distance you know mm -hmm. so after you have to walk back and all that so we have to make sure that you have some energy left mm -hmm. you know so we don't advise that after donation you even do any vigorous activity okay yes so or because we your safety is, is our concern yes yeah. what's the donation process i mean i get to a place where i've been told there's a blood donation exercise going on mm -hmm. what would be the process i would have to go through okay so the first point is that you you visit the donation table okay where um, your your details or your 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 uh, bio data is taken mm -hmm. uh, because we we take your date of birth measure your weight and then also your blood level as you said mm -hmm. so after filling the form then you go through all these processes then <coughs> we take you to the couch mm -hmm. and then we uh, take the blood okay. out of you then and after then donation after? Mm -hmm. uh, we allow you to rest for a while like while, how many minutes whilst like resting hour? we give you a beverage okay yeah to take to to relax you well it's not a beverage people ask uh, is a beverage supposed to replenish the blood that you've given and all that? Um, not, not really. Okay. But then it's part of our exercise just to monitor you, because some people, after donation, they 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 have a little bit of issues. Uh, yeah, reactions. So we want to make sure that you are safe. Uh, after donation. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Thank you so much. But we'll go for a quick turn. When we come back, we would ask those who donate the blood if they come back with adverse side effects, who pays or who bears the cost after that? We we'll come back after the break. Welcome aboard the safest airline in Africa. With industry leading safety measures to protect your well being. The first in Africa to earn a diamond standard of safety. Offering a more contactless, safe, and seamless experience. Delivered with a smile by Africa's first fully vaccinated crew. Creating special memories that bring the joy back to flying so you can continue making memories with your loved ones. Book your flight with Randair today. Randair, the safest airline in Africa. Randair, fly the dream of Africa. Blue City is a manufacturing supplier of high quality fashion accessories. We design and make quality bow ties, flying ties, lapel pins, ladies brooches, fabric necklaces, African wares and so much more for your weddings, schools, institutions, bands, choir, singing groups, individuals and so many more. We use both African prints and foreign fabrics to make your beautiful accessories for you. Oh yeah! Contact us via call or WhatsApp or SMS on 0240-926-564. Locate us at Odoko Official Town opposite Emil's Preparatory School. Check us out on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Blue City Fashion. Blue City, creativity and style.
And thanks so much for staying with us throughout. Say so thank you so much for staying. Um, what happens to those who come back after donating? Maybe after a day or two, come back to report any adverse side effect. Who bears the cost? Who takes care of them? Okay. Um, for that, we we haven't really encountered much of that problem okay. because, like I said, after the donation, we monitor you mm -hmm. from our end, make sure that okay. you are okay before you are released to go. Okay. So those who normally, you know, come back are those sometimes we invite okay. on our own, probably after the donation and after the test, you know, is run, we may find some <coughs> um, something in the blood which we need oh. to advise you on. Oh. So we will call you and then the, you, you come for that counseling. Mm -hmm. So we have a counseling unit that handles, you know, such cases. But with adverse effects and all that, nobody has, you know, uh, come with that complaint. Mm -hmm. You know, after two, three days, so no, we haven't actually encountered that yet. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, take us to the output for uh, what happened in 2021. I mean, the blood donation exercises, the units of blood you collected across the, across the country, um, the voluntary donors. I, I mean, somewhere around last year, I, I saw people giving them some kind of awards mm. uh, for voluntary blood donors. Please yes. walk us through it. Okay, so every year, that is what we do, at least. We don't just always come or call on voluntary, uh, volunteers to come and donate blood. So in the year, we mm -hmm. try to appreciate them and also acknowledge their effort okay. and so we have instituted an award uh, you know scheme, scheme during the national blood donor day <clears throat> just to encourage others to also mm -hmm. uh, continually to donate blood so we have a yearly projection okay. or targets uh, but like i said we, we used to do well but then because of covid uh, our collections you know have actually dropped Mm -hmm. So last year, for instance, first quarter, voluntary donation that came in, we had about 893. Okay. 893. That's the first quarter of the year, mm -hmm. which is woefully adequate, uh, inadequate. 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 Okay. So percentage-wise, is about 16.3%. Percent. Okay. Yes. And then the second quarter of 2021, well, it appreciated a bit. We had 1,851. Okay. Uh, Percentage-wise, it was about 30.26%. What did you do in between the two? In between? To, to push that number? Yeah, so uh, it was based on the output mm -hmm. uh, in the first quarter. So we okay. realized that we needed to uh, adopt new strategies mm -hmm. to encourage more. You know, more people. Okay. So we did more follow-ups. Mm -hmm. uh, this time round, we were calling donors them. and prompting them mm -hmm. that you know you are due to donate, to donate and all that, and people were happy about that. About so it. they were responding to mm -hmm. to that, and so it helped us a lot. And also, we also realized that most of the corporate organizations were also responding. responding. So, for example, if they are celebrating their anniversaries and all that, they try to inculcate that blood donation okay. which is a very good thing we want to encourage others to do more okay. yes so coming to uh, the latter or the, the last quarter of the year to mm -hmm. the third and then the the last quarter yes uh, it dropped a bit from 2809 okay. then we had um 2590 okay so overall total, we had about 8,143 uh, collection. Okay. Then the percentage is at 30.21, mm. uh, which is, uh, for us, we think that we didn't do well. Mm. And so this year, we, we're hoping that we'll do more. Mm. And then we cannot do it alone, so we need the support of everyone. everyone. Yep. TV, you, you are your partners uh, we'll do so. we'll do by well. extension. And so All right. So, we'll so what was the target for 2022? What are we expected? Yeah, it's the actually every the yearly target is uh, the percentage of the population, total okay. population okay. of uh, the country. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at uh, ten percent of the population. So, so ten percent it means that those who are seventeen years and above. And above. Okay, seventeen so, to sixty. Yes. So our projection is that 
if 10% of the national population is mm -hmm. able to donate blood consistently, mm -hmm. then we, we are good to have uh, that target that we need. We need. Okay. Yes. Mm. We, are, we are hoping so. Mm. And how was the educational talks on blood donation? Um, how far did it go across 16 regions? So, um, with the help of our media partners, mm -hmm. we do these interactions mm -hmm. um, most of the time. Mm -hmm. And then we have blood donor recruiters who also go yeah. around to educate um, the people. So, for example, if it's a school, mm -hmm. every you know, day we have sessions. Mm -hmm. So we book with the schools and then we meet them at the assembly and then we educate them about blood donation. Okay. We do so with the churches as well. So Sundays too, we move to churches. Mm -hmm. and then Friday we go to the mosque and then all that. So organized groups, keep fit clubs and all that. People do invite us for talk. We go there and then we educate them as well. We also have our flyers and then our social media handle also active the website is there so the information is out there for people but we, we also want to encourage if people need more information uh, we can be contacted at any time to to give them okay. what they want yeah um how about the blood donation day the occasional ones and all that mm -hmm. yeah so occasionally we we have um three programs in a year in june is World Blood Donor Day. So world, um, worldwide, all over, um, June 14th, it's set aside by the WHO to, um, to campaign. Welcome aboard the safest airline in Africa. With industry leading safety measures to protect your well being. The first in Africa to earn a diamond standard of safety. Offering a more contactless, safe, and seamless experience. Delivered with a smile by Africa's first fully vaccinated crew. Creating special memories that bring the joy back to flying so you can continue making memories with your loved ones. Book your flight with Randair today. Randair, the safest airline in Africa. Randair, fly the dream of Africa. Blue City is a manufacturing supply of high quality fashion accessories. We design and make quality bow ties, flying ties, lapel pins, ladies brooches, fabric necklaces, African wares and so much more for your weddings, schools, institutions, bands, choir, singing groups, individuals and so many more. We use both African prints and foreign fabrics to make your beautiful accessories for you. Oh yeah! Contact us via call or WhatsApp or SMS on 0240 926 564. Locate us at Odoko Official Town opposite ML's Preparatory School. Check us out on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Blue City Fashion. Blue City, creativity and style.
care about that, but we are back again, and this is regulated. So, sir, we're talking about the weekly donations, um, the occasional ones, and of course, let's not forget the fact that um, we tomorrow um, we are entering into, well, we enter into February tomorrow, and then most people would like to do this because of the approaching Vows Day or the Vows Day mm. exercise. So, tell us more about that. Yes, yeah, so I was talking about the <coughs> um, the fixed events that we have, okay. calendar year. We have about three events. Okay. The Vars Day donation is one of them, mm -hmm. where we have a lot of people coming on board to support. So you have different corporate organizations organizing blood donations and all that. Then we have the June 14th um, event, which is World Blood Donor Day. It's a WHO um, program mm -hmm. that gives uh, blood centers or blood centers by the world the opportunity to campaign okay. and also to make um, sure that uh, policy makers get to understand the need for blood donation so that they also make you know their input and then make uh, policy statements on that then we come to november where we have the national blood donor day where we we acknowledge and reward the voluntary blood donors so okay. come february yes we expect that uh, more organizations will come on board and then uh, support the national blood service with blood donation events. okay so we are doing it in 14 days yes okay. yes we are doing that in 14 Is days it across the 16 regions across the 16 regions okay. yeah so our doors are still open if you're an organization you want to um support the exercise uh, you are welcome so maybe Adwa TV, you also want to uh, invite your viewers to join you okay. to have a donation exercise here. We can. We, we yes, we will, you know, come and then uh, support. Okay. Now you 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 made mention of the commercial donors. Mm. What does the law states about them? And what's the penalty unit for that kind of uh, people? I mean, the punishment. Yeah, sure. So commercial donors, I mean, uh, it's it's an illegal activity. It's, it's, it's like uh, Goro boys hanging around the license office and all mm -hmm. that, trying to uh, uh, cash in on what is happening. Okay. So their, their business is that when people come during emergency and they need blood, and there's no blood, they don't have relatives to also come and donate for them. Then they, they, they call on them, pay them money, and then they donate for, for them. But like I indicated earlier, we are concerned about the safety of the donor okay. and then the okay. safety of the recipient. So if you are a commercial donor, we don't know the kind of lifestyle you live. So we don't okay. encourage people to, to go into such uh, activity. But now we are able to regulate the system because we have a software now that can uh, detect whether you've donated uh, not long ago and then you are coming to donate again and all that. But there are, there are punishments for those who I engage in such activity. Okay. Yes. Back then, we didn't have the law to, to prosecute. But now, uh, Parliament has passed the, the National Blood Service Bill. And so, uh, it's now an act whereby, yes, we've been given the authority to, you know, regulate all the activities of blood donation in the country, uh, which okay. child donors are also part also. of them. So, when you are caught in that... Uh, illegal act uh, you can face uh, the law mm. now if if i donate blood today mm. how long will it take for your your people to process or treat it before the next person who is in need of it will be able to use oh it takes a day okay the processing takes a day but um after the process you you, you know we prepare components also out of it so okay. those ones may take a little bit of time but then okay. on the whole blood uh, the processing takes yes a day so let's say mm. two three years, you can uh, get it. yes that's without extracting the components yes okay. without yeah without doing that and can so. it be used uh, by another patient no okay but we need to you see sometimes um when the request comes mm -hmm. so that's what we always do we make sure that we have a stock okay. you know to yeah you know we use um machines yeah. you know to do the processing on that anything at all can, can happen. happen so actually we don't wait 
till it till gets there. It gets there, you know, as soon as it comes before we process it, and then we, we, we distribute. But mm -hmm. then we make sure that we always have uh, enough. But then when there is no blood at all, then you can imagine that the process will delay a bit. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, we need to make sure that we get all the components out to have the whole blood. Mm -hmm. So do you, uh, your people, do they work, I mean, 24 hours a day? Or you run on shift? Um, yes, we run on shift. Okay. We run on shift. But the Kolebu blood service, because that place we run 24 okay. hours, oh, okay. because that is where we do the distribution. Yes, so the request comes there anytime. anytime. So we need to be there 24 hours. But then at the center, we, we run shift though, but we don't do exactly 24 hours mm. for the uh, processing. Mm -hmm. No. How about the drone distribution of blood to various regions? How's it been so far? Well, I think it's going well. Mm -hmm. But our mandate is to, to serve them, to make sure that they have blood. Mm -hmm. And when they don't have blood, they call on us, we, we supply mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. yes. But when they come and there's no blood, there's no way they can they distribute, can it. yes, so. Does blood cost? Does it cost a lot? And do we pay for it? We ideally, have to buy it. Ideally, it's not supposed to be that costly. So which one is ideally that we are not supposed to pay for it? Yes, we are not supposed to, but then currently it is so. Mm -hmm. Because um, going for, for blood collection, we incur a lot of cost. Okay. Okay. So we disagree with people who say that we buy blood, we pay for blood and all that. But what we say mm -hmm. is that you pay for processing fee. Which is how much? Um, it differs from okay. facility to facility. But your end? I end at Kolebu currently, I think a unit of blood is uh, 120 Six. Ghana cities. Yes. Okay. 120. Okay. That includes, um, how do you call it, the, the processing um, and then the, the cross-matching and all that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then it's, it may differ from other facilities which I can speak to. Is there a way we can make the, the whole process or from different um, centers the same price? Yes. Okay. You know, I told you that previously we didn't have the legal backing to regulate all this. Okay. But, but it's, now you have. It's, yes, it's part of our mandate. Mm -hmm. But now because we now have the act, we, 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 we are working, you know, seriously towards that. So very soon, very mm -hmm. soon, we're going to have that regulated. So all blood centers will charge, you know, same uh, amount. Yes, same amount. But the difficulty also mm -hmm. is that, you know, most of the facilities come to the National Blood Service for the blood. Mm -hmm. So when they come... They need to pay for it. Yes, when you're, take it away. Yeah, when you're coming for the blood, mm -hmm. you, you need to pay the yeah. processing fee. Okay. You need to put that is 120. Pay. So if you're buying, if you're getting five from your end, you need to pay five, yes. five times this, the, the this current amount. Yes. Okay. Yes. But those facilities who come Mm -hmm. for the blood from our end. Let's say a private hospital okay. or maybe a different hospital comes there for blood. Mm -hmm. When they go to their facility, probably they will also okay. uh, so they will buy it at extra. this amount and they may get into their hospitals. They will get it at this amount. Yes. And may sell it twice the amount you may not know. Well that is that is up to them, but it's okay. it's part of the, the, the regulatory, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, processes that we are going through now. Mm -hmm. Probably because, yes, they, they will tell you that they incurred cost, the fuel mm -hmm. and all that, you know, distance and all that. So they actually need to recoup whatever it is. So how are you going to uh, uh, regulate that? Mm. So, so how is it stored before taking to, to, to the various centers? Yes, we, we advise that a store and a, a temperature, there's a temperature level that you store need to it. store it. And so always we advise that it has to be in a cool chest. Yes. Okay. Uh, if the distance is a bit... Uh, cool chest. Is it, is, it, is it with some ice cubes in it? Or? Um, so if you are going further distance, then we advise that you put some ice pack. On, on it? Yes. Okay. To make sure that it keeps the temperature, uh, you know, down. But then if you're not going okay. to far place, you don't need to put ice on it. But it has to be in the ice chest. Just so to protect. If, if it becomes a bit 
solidified. Mm -hmm. How does the people get it into the, the patient's bloodstream? Or the doctors have their way? It, it doesn't. Okay. Because the processes that it goes through, mm -hmm. we make sure that it is safe. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, so the blood bags that we, we put, we, we put the blood into, mm -hmm. it has this anticoagulant you know, uh, yeah. gel in it. And so it, it, it protects it. It, it. it doesn't make it clot. Uh -huh, so. no, what's the, I, I, I said you were going to explain what the unit and the point is all about. Mm. What's the difference? It's basically the same thing. Okay. Pint is an old term. It's an old term. Yeah, it's an old term that, you okay. know, in the 60s and... Mm -hmm. uh, but now it's, it's a unit that, that is how. So the, the pint has been uh, converted to so the unit. The unit, I think the unit is more, uh, it's more flexible, flexible. Yeah, than... Okay. Mm. Now tell us, what, look, um, going forward into 2022, I mean, we just ended the... Um, January, mm. the ancient is a February. What do we expect from you, from the blood service? I mean, the whole nation. Yes, yeah, so we want to uh, tell the whole nation that mm -hmm. uh, still, because we are in a COVID, uh, you know, season. So this year, if we are not careful, it's still going to be very difficult. But then we are not going to rest on our oars. We know that um, we need to work hard. Mm -hmm. But we can do that only with the support of the general public. Okay. And so voluntary blood donation is the way to go. Voluntary blood donation is the way to go. Okay. Let us not wait till there's an emergency before we mobilize people to come and so donate to blood. For us. Yes. And so we are, we are hoping that this year uh, we will get more of the blood from the religious bodies, the schools, mm -hmm. the corporate organizations. Mm -hmm. And everyone, every healthy Ghanaian should donate. Should donate blood. Okay. Now, if if an institution wants to join this campaign to help in the blood donation drive, mm. what does it take for that person to join? Yeah. So you you write to the National Blood Service. Okay. And then you you request or you 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 inform us that okay. this is what you intend yes. to do, because the law mandates only. A national blood service to supervise blood donation everywhere in the country so nobody is mandated to collect blood mm. if the, the 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 person is not coming from the national blood service mm. so all those who want to organize blood donation exercise you need to write to the national blood service mm -hmm. then we, we, we will advise you mm -hmm. on even the environment that you're supposed okay. to um, organize the blood donation we don't really encourage people to organize blood donation, uh, you know, on the, uh, how do you call it? In the sun or something. Yeah, the sun okay. and also uh, on story building. It is not okay. advisable. Yeah, what is the reason? The reason is that mm -hmm. the donor may be climbing up and descending and all that. It will mm -hmm. even affect, it can affect the, 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 the blood, uh, how do you call it? Um, the, the the BP okay yes okay, okay so when the BP is high to you are not you allowed donate. to donate and also because you may feel dizzy mm -hmm. after donation and all that cannot uh, you cannot yeah be descending. climbing okay. and then you know descending and all that so it is not advisable we always want a a, a, a play ground mm -hmm. yes where people can freely move and then also we we make sure that you observe all the the COVID protocols, protocols and yeah. all that. Yeah, so so when you write to us, we also give you those guidelines, mm -hmm. and then you're good to go. How long will it take for you to give us the feedback? Oh, within a day or two. Within a day or two? Yes, it doesn't keep long at all. Because so who do we address the letter to? Uh, you address the letter to the, the CEO. Okay. The CEO, and then... Uh, she will take it up. From she will take it up from there. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Now... Someone just said something in my ear. I mean, it says that he wants to donate blood, and we talked about some refreshments. Mm -hmm. But the group that went to donate the blood were not given the refreshments. Whose fault is it? Is it from them, or is it from the the center that they went to donate the blood? Um, I don't really know. But the refreshment is is for 
everybody. Everyone, okay. Uh, once you've donated blood. But then the, 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 the thing is that, you know, our emphasis is on voluntary donors. Okay. Voluntary donors. So, so if I you just volunt- get up and then do Yeah, if you're a voluntary donor, okay. we treat you as a king or a queen, you okay. see, because you are contributing to society. But um, at the point where you are donating for someone, because there's a need for you to donate. Mm-hmm. If it hadn't been that, you wouldn't, you know, support blood donation. But, but it, it has still saved a particular life. It has, but the point is that, must we get there? Okay. You understand? So because of that, you're not giving the, the, the uh, refreshment? Probably it wasn't, it was enough that day. That's why they didn't get it. <laughs> it was... It's for everyone. Okay. It's for everyone. So they should but try we, and give we, it out. Yes, but we try to encourage people to do it more voluntary than you okay. know, waiting till someone needs it before you you mm. go and donate. Okay. That one is is not too good. So it's, it's an so emergency it, situation. Mm-hmm. What what if at that particular time you are not very fit to donate? To do it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you see. So at least the whole year I should be able to donate twice. If not, yes, at least if yes, if not because it's four months uh, interval. Mm-hmm. So at least you're able to do twice. I mean, you, you've done your your, your your civic responsibility. What's the criteria you use in picking out um, gifts to give to these voluntary donors? Random? No. The more you donate, the more you get something. No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, we don't encourage gifts, giving gifts to donors. I mean, for the November World Donor Day. Well, oh, okay, okay, yeah. So we look at the number of donations that you have done over the year. Okay. Yeah. Some people, uh, you know, the best donor uh, this year, oh no, last, last year, year, for instance, then donated about 86, yeah. 86 times and then all that. So there are people who have, you know, uh, actually donated. And so so, we so look with at this person who has donated 86 times, mm. would you still encourage the person to still continue donating? Yes, if the person is not up to 60 years. Wow. You can still, you know, donate. But if you have to so, 60, then you need to end it. Yes, you need to end so it. So if you end, if you end it, what, what would you become? An, um, an ambassador or a campaigner? Yes, you can become a, a you know, an ambassador, okay. a campaigner, just to encourage people. people to yes. I'm sure last year you were there. I was there. You know, the man who, who got the, the highest the donation, mm-hmm. he said that he's been doing that and yeah. because of his, you know, initiative, family the family, you up, know, yeah. has also taken up and all that. I think it's refreshing. It's, it's mm. exciting. Yeah. So if you cannot do it, someone else can do someone it. Someone else can do it. Mm. Exactly. So. Okay. Thank you so much, say for your time and for, for this, this beautiful education. But I, I hope that we would have more of this. But we'll also try and get in contact with you before 14th of February. Mm. And then let's see how it goes. But we are, we are entering into the love month. Let's show some love to everyone by donating blood to save a life somewhere. You may donate your blood today in Accra, but it would end up somewhere in Tamale or somewhere up north, somewhere down south, yes. or wherever it may find itself, but it is going to save a life. If you know you are fit, you are okay, you are, you are not ill, you don't have any side effects, you don't have anything that is wrong with you, please do want to visit any of the branch. If you are in Accra, please get to any center, especially a government um, hospital, and then you can find a, a blood bank anywhere near you just get there but so you can give us a contact to to, to call if, okay. if we need to go go into any place to donate yeah sure um a national call center line is okay. um zero two seven seven five zero one zero one zero okay five zero one zero one zero oh zero two four four line okay zero two four four five six one five six one Seven eight two. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So when you call any of these numbers, numbers you'll be directed. You'll be directed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I think that almost all, all almost all the government hospitals have. Yes, almost have all the government to, hospitals. To, yeah. To okay. All right. Thank you so much. But call these numbers zero two seven seven five zero one zero one zero or zero two four four five six one seven eight two and then find out where you can actually get to, to donate your blood today. It's February, let's do well to do it, so that by March, April, May, we can also go back and do our second donation. I'm going to join in donating. This year, we are all going to donate, so let's make it a point to donate. I've been there once, and I was told something else. I don't want to mention, but 
I hope that this day when I go, I won't have any complications. I won't have anything. And I can donate as well. Thank I think you so that, much. that is a good thing about blood donation. Okay. So you, you get to know what uh, is wrong with you. Wrong with the medical check. <laughs> you know, it's not it's not our culture as, okay. a, as a nation to always go to the hospital for check up, check up and okay. all that. So when you avail yourself for blood donation, it's you get to know what is wrong with you. You get that free okay. medical <laughs> check. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. But let me mention the numbers again, 0277 one zero one zero or zero two four four five six one seven eight two call these numbers for more details on what to do or where to get to to donate your blood today it's february let's show some love to all other persons out there you may not know the person but you may get to save someone's life thank you so much my producers to my technical crew thank you so much god bless you sir thank you so much and god bless you for your time thank you for you having at home me. thank you so much for watching my name is nafali come your way same time next week monday before then enjoy the rest of our programs <laughs>